This week, 175 new stalls were installed throughout the United States and Canada, bringing the total stall count to 65,934. Ion added one station. Flow added three. Mercedes-Benz added two. Pilot Flying J also added two. Tesla added 11. Electrify America added two. ChargePoint added 16. EVgo added one. EV Connect added five, but it should be noted that their station count and stall count both decreased, so they must have closed some older stations. And the Rivian Adventure Network added two. Let's go ahead and get into the data. First, Ayana, they opened a very picturesque location in Valdosta, Georgia, 10 stalls with a very nice canopy. And obviously the stall um, markings indicating which one is uh, J3400 and which one is CCS. I'd really like to go to this station this weekend, but I don't think I'm quite going to be able to make it. And there's a couple things going on at stations here in the North Carolina area. So I think I might do those instead. Here's Flow. They opened three stations. You can see they're all one stall, but one of the ones uh, right here in Bayfield, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island is kind of like a remote island on the Atlantic coast of Canada. And there's a very small island in the connecting uh, causeway that connects Prince Edward Island to the mainland. And it's right there. It looks like a beautiful location. I kind of was daydreaming of making the road trip out to that area. I would imagine it's absolutely beautiful. Mercedes-Benz opened two, Denton, Texas, at the Bucky's. And close to me, this is the one that I might go do to do a um, station review. The Greensboro Friendly Center has now been opened. Ten stalls both. Pilot Flying J opened two on either side of the country, South Carolina and Oregon. This is the one in South Carolina. It's on... Interstate 85 in between Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina, and Atlanta, Georgia, in uh, Greenville, South Carolina. And it says Duncan, but really is Greenville, South Carolina. And I can remember when I was scouting out stations a long time ago, and I came across this as a pip, uh, as a likely location where a station was going to get built into. And I couldn't quite picture how they were going to put a station in there because there was so little space. And uh, this was like the only parking for the entire um, location because the pumps take up the entire lot up. You see the little um, embankment wall. So over here is like a area where the pumps are and there's no parking up there. So they basically consume most of the parking. There's some parking on the back here, but it shows how committed they are to putting these stations in. Here's Tesla. They added 11. And a couple of things I want to point out. If you look at Las Vegas, I mentioned in last week's update, they put a station in North Las Vegas. I think it was 28 stalls, maybe 24 stalls. But we have two additional stations in as many weeks in Las Vegas. So we've got this one here, eight stalls at South Town Center Drive. I don't know where that is. And then another one at the Twain Center, 28 stalls. So in as many weeks, they probably put 50 stalls, new stalls, in Las Vegas, Nevada. And um, that's nothing to sneeze at. That's definitely going to make a dent in the uh, charging problems in Las Vegas. And I think, which one did I go to? The Galesburg, Illinois. Let's take a look at this one, 12 stalls. This one was interesting because you could see they're putting in the V3 dispensers still in the middle of 2025. I thought they were done putting these in, but I guess not because this is a brand new station in Illinois and still getting V3 dispensers. I mean, it looks nice. It looks like, you know, I wouldn't have any problem charging there. Um, but I just thought they were uh, done putting in those V3 dispensers. Electrify America added two. This is the Fort Worth. If you look back here, it butts up against, if you look at it on a map, it's just a huge rail yard. It's got like uh, 15 rail lines just on the other side over here. So major rail hub. That's where all the cows turn into hamburgers for us or something. I don't know. Um, and uh, Calhoun, Georgia, another Simon Mall, both of them six stalls. Here's ChargePoint. You can see this one in Washington. I looked it up. I could not find it on PlugShare, so it's a sleeper site. 
it will pop in and get populated with images in the coming days. So let me drop my image. And the one I have pictured here is in uh, Tucson, the GPM Investments. Let's go to that. You can see it here over the wall. Here's the two chargers. Very common GPM investment installation. If you go ahead, this one, and this one was actually in last week's update. I'm not sure why it's showing new because I coalesce on an ID. So they must have pulled it out and put it back in or something and made some kind of adjustment. But it's eight stalls in Sherman Oaks, California. Now open. Again. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> EV Connect, typical car dealerships going on here. This one that has four stalls is not a car dealership, though. It says Newport Chamber of Commerce parking lot in Newport, Arkansas. And when I looked it up, I got this thing. I don't even know what this is, and I've never heard of this CPO. Um, it's northwest of Memphis, and this little dot down here is, is uh, Little Rock, so it's... Uh, northeast of Little Rock. Um, but sure looks nice. I guess they're trying to attract people to their town by making electric vehicle charging convenient. And uh, this station is now open. Four stalls. Rivian Open 2. And Rivian's been spending a boatload of cash. They basically ripped out all the chargers in all existing stations and replaced them with these taller ones in order to open them up to non-Rivians. And they're still opening new stations. So maybe that's why the price has increased per kilowatt hour for charging at Rivian stations because they're just spending ungodly amounts of money in order to upgrade their network and continue to expand it. But um, this is a picture. It's not open yet, but this is the only picture on PlugShare of uh, King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, and then Ventura, California, both eight stalls. And one honorable mention, I don't, know who this is. Never heard of them. Uh, they are a legitimate entry in the EV network uh, field in the Alternative Fuels Data Center database. And I've been noticing these palace inns populate around Houston on PlugShare, and I had no idea what they were, and there wasn't really any information in PlugShare about them. They just started to appear all around Houston. And I don't know what that is, but if you look at this open date, starting on 521, Basically, from here all the way down here, and all of these are in the state of Texas, all of them apparently opened. And uh, two stores, two stalls, four stalls, one stall. So some new CPO in the state of Texas decided to simultaneously open a whole bunch of stations is apparently what this is, unless they are preemptively entering these and they aren't actually open. I don't honestly know, but this is definitely significant enough, at least to mention. So as people are going about their business, feel free to check out some of these stations to see if they're legitimate. I suspect they are. I do. Anyway, hope everyone has a good holiday weekend. Thank you very much for watching.